This is SE Featured. This is the power of sports. Tip flexors, his hammies, his glutes, it's the whole night. I wake up sore, and I like hot tubs. Yeah, I'm, I'm 31 broken bones in. Hot tub. Where, else, where else can you hang out with your butt, with your bros and your shirts on? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, this is what we usually do. Yeah, yeah. That's the biggest difference between the NFL. You don't stay at the American Inn. You get your private hot tub. <laughs> you remember Jared, all those sacks. 136 in his career, 11th all time. And the cap roping, and the pretend stories we used to do together. Hell yeah! Woo! This isn't that. This is real. Jared is retired now and has new goals. He wants to represent the United States in the Olympics. In curling. I made a bet with a buddy of mine that I would try to become an Olympian. So I was like, yeah, dude, curling. We don't have a whole lot of medals in curling. You got to have a goal. You got to have something to chase. And we're having fun with it. We're trying to hone our skills the best we can. We're taking it serious. And now we're curling. The other guys all played football, too. All pros like former linebacker Keith Bullock. Put the guard up. You feel me? And left tackle Michael Roos. This lane is super fast. And a team can't be complete without a quarterback. There's Mark Bolger, a two-time pro bowler. That's a hard push-up. So we tried to replicate, like, at the Olympics, a fire oh, pen. This is, so this is just to get you, like, this is what it could be yo, for you. Yo, yo, you know what? We need that. So how in the hell do you think you can take on these guys who have my been doing curling since so five years old? My philosophy is, is it, we're athletes, right? We're trying to push ourselves, have fun, but we're trying to do it with respect to the game. We're written out crappy ice just so we can get ice. Jamaican bobsled team, baby. There's one flaw in that Jamaican bobsled analogy. The Jamaican bobsled people actually made the Olympics. Hard! Dang it. For the all-pro curling team to qualify for the next Winter Olympics, they have to earn enough points in national and international tournaments qualify for the Olympic trials in 2021. All the way, hard, hard, line, line, hard. After that, all they have to do is win the trials. But the team has yet to win a match. I should have opened it up so sooner. That's it's all on me. Oh. <laughs> Touchdown. You guys are like a two and 14 NFL team trying to make the Super Bowl <laughs> yeah. and you have one year to get better. Yeah. So we have, what? It's wide. Oh, it's wide. It's really wide. In December, the All Pro squad matched up against the Goliath, the U.S. gold medal winning team. Yeah, I'm getting that gold medal. <laughs> when I say matched up, I mean they were allowed to be on the same ice as the champs. Right? Zero chance I'm trying to give him my spot in 2022. I'll let him come at me, though. <laughs> Yep! Get a pass! Good job. We got a point. <laughs> They've obviously got the physical stature to be pretty good curlers. They've got to get a little more comfortable on the ice where they can afford to slide a little bit. They kind of are just walking along with the rock. You really got to put that body weight over it. They're big dudes, but I guarantee you I was putting more weight on my broom than they were, and it's just because I have better technique right now. The team was back together for the men's challenge round in Minnesota in early January and suffered the same results against a bunch of people who didn't win the Olympic gold medal. We just played like garbage today, honestly. I couldn't get anybody a consistent rhythm or shot. I get we're young, right? When we go back to technical and shooting, if we keep all of that stuff and get the technical right, wins will come. That's John Benton. He's the reason this might not be as impossible as it seems. A former USA curling Olympian, he's in charge of the all-pro curling team. Yes! This has never been done. We've never taken athletes from another sport and made them into curlers. So this is, as a coach, it's kind of my dream. Their front end, their front two players, 
If we beat them, we win this game, right? You haven't had a day yet where you looked at this project and like, this is pointless. You, you see the end still, that a it day, can be succeed. A day, no. A moment or two, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I would be lying if that didn't happen. Their game today was actually game two of probably 400 and some games by the time we're done in four years. So we're at a pretty early stage. You've just been born. Yeah! First timer! <laughs> we're coming in here trying to honor the sport, right? We're learning the game. We're not slouches out there. Yes, Mike! I got it, I got it, I got it. Hey! We have set high goals. If we pull it off, it's like a miracle on ice.